Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and today I'm going to show you how to fix the printer error operation could not be completed 0x0000709 on Windows 11. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the printer troubleshooter. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Now in here, click on system on the left pane and then on the right side, scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on it. Now click on other troubleshooters and the last thing you have to do is click on the run button next to the printer category. Windows will now try to help you with troubleshooting this issue and afterwards you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to restart the print spooler service. To do this, press the Windows button then simply type services and select it as an application from the search result. Now in here in the services menu, make sure to locate print spooler. So scroll way down until you reach the print spooler service, then right click on it and select the restart option. Wait a bit and then you can check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to update the printer drivers. To do this, right click the Windows button, then select device manager from the list of options. And now in here in the device manager window, make sure to expand print queues, then right click on the problematic printer and select the update driver option. Now just click on search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best available drivers directly on your PC. After installing the drivers, make sure to restart your computer and then check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to disable the automatic printer management. To do this, press the Windows button, then select the settings icon. Now in here, click on Bluetooth and devices on the left pane. And then on the right side, click on the printers and scanners category. Now in here, locate the printer preferences category. And the last thing you have to do is toggle off the option for allow Windows to manage my default printer. Now you can just check if the problem still persists. And that's it. Super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality content. Thanks for watching and I wish you a great day.